Hi, I'm Dr. Indranil and I'm just uh, making uh, some small small videos on uh, suturing in dentistry. Uh, these videos I'll, I'll be covering uh, different aspects of suturing, uh, how to hold a needle holder, AdSense forceps, what are the uh, different things that you need to take care when uh, you want to suture like a surgeon and uh, th there are these certain things that I would not call it a, a suturing course but more like tips and tricks of suturing and uh, I will show on a model exactly how you should suture so that your knots never come loose. I'll be covering different suturing techniques, uh, suturing after uh, extractions, uh, horizontal mattress, vertical mattress, simple interrupted sutures, continuous uh, continuous sutures, figure of eight suturing, which uh, we routinely use uh, after many uh, dental extractions. I'll also be throwing some light on how to tie a knot properly because I keep getting a lot of queries as to uh, how to tie a knot so that it doesn't uh, keep getting loose. So it's a very simple trick which I'll be covering uh, on the model. I'll show it to you on a model exactly how it's supposed to be done so that your knots never uh, come loose. And I, in some of my future videos, I'll, I'll uh, cover some tips and tricks of uh, a little bit about periodontal suturing. Uh, I'm actually a maxillofacial surgeon. I'm not a periodontist, but I have learned uh, from some periodontists uh, over the years and uh, I will share some of the things with you. Suturing techniques in surgery or suturing techniques uh, specifically in dentistry uh, sometimes we see that uh, we need more than one different type of uh, techniques of suture in a particular uh, case and that's why it is so very important and so handy when you know uh, all the techniques and you have so many of these techniques in your uh, bag, bag of tricks that uh, you can only then will you be in a position to start using them in the right way uh, to help your patients. Uh, now I'll just uh, go on to the uh, video. Uh, we will start off today's video with a, a simple interrupted suture which is the most commonly used uh, suturing technique uh, in dentistry. So I'll start this by showing a little bit about the instruments first. Uh, this is the needle holder and uh, you can hold it with two fingers with your thumb and your ring finger and the forefinger controlling the opening and closing and helping you to take a little bit of support. This is the suture cutting scissors. And this comes in the left hand, which is called the Adson Forcep. The suture we'll be using is Vicryl 4O. 4O is the thickness of the suture material and Vicryl Rapid is uh, a resorbable, absorbable suture material and it takes about two to three weeks to fully absorb in the tissues. So when you're holding this needle, try to hold it uh, three-fourth towards the end. I'll be showing a simple interrupted suture. So few things that are important to mention. The first is when you're entering the tissue, be at an angle of 90 degree to the tissue. Not like this. Like this. Take a deep bite and an equal bite on the opposite side which is the palatal side in this case. The second thing is the distance from the incision to the point of entry on the buccal side should be same to the point of exit on the palatal side from the incision. So let's take a bite. I'll try to come out at an equal distance from the other side. I try to push with my Adson forcep here. Now the second thing is follow the curve of the needle. If you try to pull it out straight, it will tear the tissue. So push from the other side and gradually follow the arc of this needle. Now when it's out, hold it 
again at a point three fourths from the back end of the needle and when it is secure hold it with your hand so that you don't prick yourself and I gently wound this around my fingers so that I don't prick my assistant neither myself so as you can see this is around my fingers take your needle holder now this is a trick so two throws uh, so basically this needle holder has to be in the middle of this V and parallel to the incision two throws with your hand around the needle holder which is clockwise hold the tip of the suture and pull it towards the opposite side and your hand goes towards the opposite side where it is now see how it is crossing gently don't don't make it too tight then an anti-clockwise throw again pulling the tip of the suture towards the opposite side and your hand again to the opposite side and one clockwise throw which ends this suturing technique again going towards the opposite side that's it this suture will never become loose because basically what you have done is you have made a modified which doesn't become loose i hope you like the video please don't forget to subscribe for future suturing videos good luck